Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to part three of our Festive Flip mini-series. And this is the last part in our series this week. We're going to make a fully loaded Festive Flip card. So we've looked at what you get in the box. We've looked at making something really quick and easy. We've looked at how you add the embellishments using the pumpkins and the bats. And then on Wednesday, the holly and the poinsettia. That was a very, very quick and easy card and great for anybody who's not very confident with the kit. So today what we're going to do is, it's fully packed, lots of embellishment. For anybody who's used the kit, this could be a good idea of adding more, because sometimes more is more. So what we need first is the actual base for our flip card. So I've picked out one that looks fairly plain at one side. It's got a beautiful anagriffing pattern on and then it's got the gold foiling on the front around the flip as all of them have and on the back it's got the gold calligraphy. So we're going to start off and we're going to fold the card. So the only thing you might need extra from being in the kit is a good sharp bone folder or something to make a good clear edge. So I'm going to use my bone folder to make that into a good edge and then I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to create the flip. Now it's already trying to fold for me. There's the score lines on the card go all the way down there. Well, top and bottom, top and bottom because the centre is the flip part. So you literally fold it into itself and then use your bone folder to make those nice and sharp. Fold the front in, I'm just going to score it again down there and that is a good base for our flip card. So the first thing I'm going to do is in the box there were some bases and there were double sided tags. Now you can use them either the pattern side up or the gold side up. I want to use it gold side up because this one is fully loaded and we want lots of gold on it. So I'm just going to open it up again remembering that I'm working on the front of the flip and I'm going to position this into that space where the flip is making sure that it's actually on the segment and not catching the flip and it is slightly catching so I'm just going to reposition it and there that's better so we can see that it's in the centre the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my sentiments. I've picked out two sentiments. It says Merry Christmas to you, to my dear friend. So I'm going to put the Merry Christmas to you on the front. And that wants to go on the gold section that we've just added. Like that. And then to my dear friend wants to go on the inside. So we open it up and it's as if it's the back of the flip like so and position that on the back so you can see that it still flips in. Space to write your message to my dear friend lots of love and Marie have a happy Christmas. So now we're going to start adding our bits and pieces. I've got my message on and in the kit you get some uh, curved messages. So I want to add one at the bottom but I'm going to give it tails because we've got tails in the kit. So I'm going to fold the tail up and I'm going to just trim. Instead of cutting it in half, I'm going to just snip about a centimetre off it like so. And then I'm just going to add the tails 
to the half circle I'm going to add a little bit of tape glue so that I can add my tails like this and there we go just add them in the middle and the second one like so now having more time I would add a little bit more glue across the back just to ensure that they would stay on and uh, not move anywhere so next I want to add the sentiment to the bottom well I'm going to open my card up and just work on the bottom section of the card because I know that the sentiment is already in the middle like so so we know that we want it at the bottom underneath the sentiment so if I open it up and I'm going to add my 3D foam just at the side oops just at the side of the flip and at the other side as well now because I've got the tails on this I could actually add a little bit underneath just to secure it a little bit more so we'll do that and that can go across the flip like that and then when we close it it's there at the bottom so the next thing I'm going to do, I've got some stickers. Now these were actually in the kit and I've got to say that some of the flourishes are stickers and some aren't. That's what I found. I might be wrong. But the other thing, the way to tell, was the stickers have got a white background compared to an ivory background on the non-stickers. I don't know if you can see the difference there. That's just what I found. So I don't know whether that's the same or maybe they should all be stickers. I'm not quite sure. But just double check as you make, you know, as you're looking through. So I'm going to put one at one side and then I'm going to put the other one just at the other corner. And this is the actual closed corner that you get on the card. So we've got two flourishes there. So you see that as it opens. Now on the other side of the card I'm going to add a flourish across the top. Now for this I want to open it up again because I want to know where I'm putting the foam pads and I'm going to put one at the side here and then one here and I could probably go another one here just to be sure that it stays on well so we'll just take the back of those away and add our flourish remembering that we've got the sentiment in the middle we don't want to cover it up too much and now I've got a second flourish that I want to add and I'm thinking of adding it to the side like that so we can add the foam again down one side because we don't need it over the actual whole section of the card because that's where our sentiment is Oops. take the backs away from the foam and add the second flourish like that and finally I've got a little gold bow that I'm going to add and I'm just going to position that I've got it on a glue dot and I'm just going to position that to one side of the flourish so now we can 
put the card together and there it is. That's our finished Merry Christmas to you festive card flip and there's the flip and there's our card. It still stands up and it would look fantastic on any mantelpiece including mine. So I hope you've enjoyed this ideas week for the festive card flip kit. I've really enjoyed bringing them uh, to you and I hope that it's inspired you somewhat and maybe helped you a little bit if you're feeling nervous about using the kit don't be you can't go wrong with it there's no rights and wrongs just open the box play with it that's the best thing so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time